Hi guys and welcome to the channel. So we are here in Abu Dhabi, the United Arab Emirates. No trip to Abu Dhabi is complete without a visit to Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. So in this episode, we will show you this magnificent piece of architecture and we will tell you everything you need to know about the visit to this place. When we arrived in Abu Dhabi, we knew that we wanted to visit Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. It is one of those iconic places that everyone should see once in their lifetime. I have seen a few television programs at that stage that were showing the construction of the mosque, but I think it's very different to see it with your own eyes. Sheikh Zayed envisioned the creation of a welcoming and cultural heaven that inspires people from all backgrounds. We were actually passing the mosque on the way from the airport to the hotel, so we decided that we make a visit that evening. We had a bit of trouble finding the right car park and as you can see the mosque was quite far away from the car park itself. There is no direct e entry to the mosque the usual way, but you actually go and go through this little knob dome that you will uh, travel down in the basement through the corridor. However, on the way to the mosque, you will be stopped uh, by a sort of a security that is going to uh, either approve or disapprove your outfit. And unfortunately, most likely, they are going to disapprove it. It took us a couple of goals to get into the mosque and not because I was dressed uh, in a disrespectful manner. To be honest, I have traveled extensively and at this stage I have been a visitor to about uh, 40 to 50 mosques and I never had a problem. Uh, here it turns a little bit into a sort of a market situation as before the entry point to the mosque there are plenty of uh, shops that are trying to sell you a bias and it also uh, seems sort of compulsory to buy one. If you don't have one, if you wear your usual clothes, it's going to be very difficult to get in there and I wasn't going to buy an abaya just for the sake of uh, going to this mosque uh, for a few minutes. Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque is a colossal place of worship, big enough to accommodate over 40,000 visitors. It is the largest mosque in the United Arab Emirates and third largest in the world. 100,000 tons of Greek and Macedonian marble were used in its construction. While Arabic in appearance and design, the creation of Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque was a collaboration between construction companies from around the world. 3,000 workers from 38 contracting companies, artisans from India, Germany, Egypt, Turkey, United Kingdom, China and Pakistan all lend their skill in the construction of the mosque. Precious stones such as amethyst, lapis lazuli and jasper are embedded into columns. Delicate floral patterns in mother of pearl radiate from the walls. Six chandeliers made from twinkling Swarovski crystals and 24 carat galvanized gold hang from the ceiling. The largest chandelier is suspended from the roof of, of the central dome at a height of 15 meters. The main prayer hall's carpet, the world's largest, was hand knotted by 1300 of Iranian craftsmen using New Zealand's wool. It's so heavy that it had to be dismantled, flown in on two airplanes, then restitched on arrival. The open door policy encourages visitors from around the world, from families to groups, solo travelers to congregations, 
but you also have to remember that the mosque is still an active mosque. So bear that in mind when planning your visit. What I found strange, however, was the fact that we are allowed to wear the shoes and that was never a case in any other mosque that I have visited. I strongly recommend visiting the mosque during the day and during the night as the mosque features a lighting system that reflects the lunar phases projecting colors onto the mosque exterior that change nightly according to the moon. Because of this lighting system the mosque will look very differently during the day and during the night so please if you have time visit it twice uh, just to see the difference. I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I hope you can like, subscribe and comment. Thanks for watching.